the record. I now recognize myself for a few minutes of questions. First, let me thank all of the witnesses uh, for the testimony that they have provided. It's important to inform this committee and the American public uh, what we as a country are facing. You know, I um, heard from both of you, uh, local elected officials, about the threats of violence uh, related to simply counting the ballots. Uh, Mr. Fontes, I wonder, you, you alluded to, you know, the, the concern in the parking lot. Can you describe, give us a, a picture, if your words, draw us a picture for what was around Maricopa County's counting site. Thank you, Chair Loughran. Um, the, the, the front parking lot, if you will, of the warehouse uh, is, is framed by Third Avenue and Lincoln in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. And the parking lot is sort of framed on the north and the west by what's almost a two-story building. On the, on the, in the west, it's a two-story building, but a rather large off-the-ground part of the warehouse on the, on the north side. And in the parking lot itself, we made sure in working with security officials that the folks who wanted to come out and share their grievances, uh, like the First Amendment says, petition their government for that redress, had space enough to be able to uh, have their voices heard. Now, we didn't put up a security fence in a perimeter until after some incidences where folks had literally forced their way uh, into the lobby. Uh, we tried to keep it as open as possible. Our, uh, we, we tried to be as transparent as open as possible with the media and members of the public as well. Can I follow up with a question? Because, you know, I was in local government for a long time, 14 years. We ran local, we ran the elections. We had the registrar of voters. I never, we never had a situation where people came and demonstrated while the votes were being counted. People, you vote, you have elections. That never happened. Was demonstrations about counting the votes, is that being fueled, in your judgment, by the big lie? Well, Chair Lofgren, uh, we've never had a pres sitting president of the United States of America say, if I lose, it's because there was fraud. We've never had a group of politicians in the United States of America willing to carry on with that kind of psychophancy, with that kind of irresponsible deterioration of the confidence that the American people should hold in our most fundamental institutions. We've never been here as a republic. And we can see now how fragile this democracy, this experiment in democracy really is. And it is disappointing to say the very least, that we've gotten to the point where folks like my former staff and folks like Clerk Winfrey's current and future staff, um, election officials across the country who just want to do their jobs. They just want to be the folks who get that work done because they know how important it is. We all know how important it is. Again, to, to, to parrot Clerk Winfrey, none of you would be here if it wasn't for local election officials. We've never been here because we've never had a significant group of elected officials in this country irresponsible enough to render asunder the confidence that we have in our election systems. It is a horrible new place that we find ourselves in and we have to end it. And in your judgment, does that really threaten the future viability of our democratic republic? Madam Chair, we were just a few minutes away in this very building on January 6th from not carrying through with our constitutional duties, which was up until this year a normal, everyday, regular, boring process. We are in dangerous new territory, Madam Chair, in my view, and unfortunately we have to fight to get back to where we ought to be. Thank you. Uh, Clerk Winfrey, prior to 2020, did you ever have demonstrations about while the votes were being counted in Detroit? Yes, we have. Um, not to the level um, that we had in 2020. But yes, we would have uh, challengers, uh, Republican and Democratic challengers in the, uh, in the uh, TCF Center, and sometimes they would bump heads. Um, but not to the level where they were banging on the walls and and saying and yelling stop the vote. We never had it like this. We never had to have um, police officers and uh, armed officers uh, in the room with us as we tabulated votes. 
Well, I want to thank you for speaking out, both of you and all the witnesses, but especially the uh, local elected officials. You will be going home and uh, hopefully you will be, be safe when you go home. Uh, but we do thank you for your testimony as well as the other uh, witnesses. I will just uh, note that, uh, you know, yesterday three members of this committee that also serve on the uh, select committee uh, investigating the insurrection. And we heard very difficult uh, testimonies from really four amazing uh, police officers who um, laid their bodies on the line, really, to protect the members of this committee, the staff, everybody in this building, but more than anything else, to protect democracy. And we came alarmingly close uh, to the insurrectionists being uh, successful. And today, we're hearing from election officials about violence directed to them, uh, about counting, simply counting the votes. Uh, you know, it was interesting to hear Mr. Fontes, your comment about a boring process. You know, it used to be boring. I can remember times when actually I didn't come back for the electoral college counting because there's nothing to do. I mean, you just watch them be counted and that is that. Um, similarly, counting the ballots. I mean, it was something that the clerks did and we thanked them for it, but it was not a high profile item. It was just the work that had to be done. We are witnessing a, a distortion of democratic processes here that I think is a serious threat to our country. I think uh, your testimony has further enlightened us, and I hope that as we move forward, all of us, no matter what our party, will take this threat seriously, because it's not about which party you're in, it's about being an American. So I thank you all. Uh, the members of the committee may have additional questions for the witnesses. If so, we will ask you to respond to those questions in writing. The hearing record will be held open for those responses. And uh, again, thank you to all our witnesses. Without objection, uh, the Committee on House Administration stands adjourned. <laughs>